Go and log on. Send in your comments. We are also live on, uh, you know, online. www.powerfm.co.zw it's called Center Stage. And every Tuesday or Wednesday, depending, depending on availability of our guests, we get to sit down in the studio and uh, get to chop it up, mash it up, and get to host the studio, the guests and speak to them about this and that, and that and this and everything else in between. Today's edition has got Aishan. Uh, first of all, we want to start off by apologizing for our technical faults yesterday. So we just felt it wasn't fair to just have the interview uh, on radio without going live onto Facebook. So we managed to reschedule Joel, along with Aishan and his management, and then we have him in the studio today, and we're going to talk about everything. This is Peanut Butter, my day, and before this, we got a jam December. But I need to ask about the song because everybody, everybody sings according to what they hear yeah. in the song. Yeah. And uh, this song, it says it's all the same. Peanut Butter, Nedovi, as you never was around. Time Boa, Ocean, Nemo Way. Nemo waves. Ocean and waves. Tambo, <laughs> ocean and my waves. Oh, my waves. Mm. Okay. Uh, Timene chitime. Timene chitini. I don't know. Clearly, we've been singing the wrong thing. I used to sing ocean name away because I thought it was the shampoo. But I'd wonder with ocean. Uh, <laughs> or they saying something else. If, if it's not radio friendly, don't yeah, say it. Yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> no, it's cool. So if it's not radio friendly, we'll, we'll skip it. It's all right. All right. Welcome to Center Stage, Aishan. Thank you. Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> You're more than welcome to sing for me. How old are you now? And anyway, we'll do that um. another day. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's been a while since we had you in the studio. The last time I had you here, uh, you were you were you were still riding on the high wave of Kure. That yeah. was in 2019. Yeah. It was just after Tigon had uh, been attacked in Nematsozi, mm. and uh, you came in here on the launch pad. Yeah. But so much has happened in a year and eight months. Yeah. So much has yeah, happened. Yeah, a lot has happened. Yeah. You have released uh, more singles. Yeah. Your Kure became such a big hit that uh, even a big company uh, asked you to 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 refix the song uh to match their, their 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 brand yeah uh you won awards how many awards did you win total of what are you, like you, are you acting like you don't know how many awards 12, you won? Guys, guys <laughs> no like, like i don't think know. about that a lot you don't think about it yeah dude i don't think about that a lot i for, i've actually forgotten <laughs> okay okay well is, is that what it means to be famous to be an award-winning no no superstar? uh you know like there is always pressure to to create more content mm -hmm. and stuff so usually you're not thinking about all that stuff faith and Tengera, but it's 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 important all right no, we never forget okay yeah faith and Tengera got in touch on facebook she said please can you pin the lyrics uh well i, I will ask aishan to post the lyrics on his page and then we'll also post them on our power fm zimbabwe page so that uh you guys can sing along <laughs> properly yeah. but anyway can you guys hit me up and just tell me what 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 lyrics were you hearing especially papo pegut it's all the same uh ocean ne ma waves uh tsima ne chitin mine's wachi can you tell us so that he knows how vexed we are getting <laughs> <laughs> nema, nema, nema lyrics. Okay. Uh, this one says, I love that guy. Ocean Ne Waves. <laughs> this is another My version. <laughs> all right. This one says, Can you explain what it means? But it's all the same. Peanut butter and Adobe. We'll get to that. Don't worry, Danny boy. We'll get to that. All right, Aishan. Yeah. When I spoke to you on the launch pad, you were basically introducing yourself, saying that yeah. uh, originally you're not an artist from Harare. Yep. Originally, where are you from? Originally, I'm from Vuri. Mm hmm. I grew up in Buri, so that's where I did most of my, if I can say, training to, you know, get used to singing and recording because there were studios there. There are yeah. studios? Yeah, there are studios there. How many studios are in Buri? Um, I don't know about now, but I remember when I left, there were two studios, Tocket Studios, mm -hmm. Tocket Red, mm -hmm. Tocket Records, mm -hmm. and uh, Bush Killer. Mm -hmm. So I used to work with Bush Killer a lot. All right, so yeah. you, you used to go to the studio very often to record some stuff, yeah. and you're this guy from Zim a small. Zim by that time. Yeah, you were yeah. this guy from a small town, and already had already my artist Arukupisa. Blawa has got his artist Arukupisa. I'm tired of But now, from for an artist from a small town, how was it for you to try and get that music that you had been recording Zim Dancehall 
into the mainstream or try and get it to play in the bigger cities? It was hard. It was really hard. Um, when I was in Buri, I moved to Kadoma. Mm -hmm. That's where I met my second producer. Uh, his name is Seku B. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with him mm -hmm. in Kadoma. Mm -hmm. And then we moved here to, to Harare. So, you know, I started meeting new producers. I, that's when I met Jamal, No Limits. And, uh, you know, I asked to work with him and he agreed. And he took me in. I think that's where I developed most of my talent, mm -hmm. No Limits Records. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so while you were there, uh, he was he was he took you under his wing, yeah, showing you the ropes. Yeah. What are some of the lessons that you learned from No Limits, from working with him? Um, you really need to have a strong team if you really want to make it big, and if you really want to build something that is stable and concrete, mm -hmm. you really need a strong team and. Being with them for such a long time, it gave me the, you know, the image that if you actually have a, a serious team and a strong team, you can actually build something. Mm -hmm. That's and I can testify with Kure and other records that people you know like and they vibe too. Yeah. All right. Uh, when you came last year, I keep referencing to our conversation last year. Maybe some yeah. people may not be uh, aware of that we had this interview last year, but uh, mm. there's some things that you said that stood out. And mm. I want to remind you about that. You said yeah. uh, that you, at some point in time, had dropped out of school yeah. to focus on music. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever then go back to school? No. Nope. All right. Uh, you dropped out of school, and I asked you, and I said that. What, what was your parents' reaction to you dropping out of school and you said they were not happy at all? Yeah. Every parent wants their child yeah, to finish school. Definitely. And you said to me, Chambari, and I said, what if it doesn't work out? And you said, it has to work out. Yeah. Because there's no other option. Yeah. This is the only option. It is. Is that still the, the same it is. vibe? There's no other way. <laughs> there's no other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the only way, so it has to it That's has up, to happen. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now with music, the, the thing with music is that uh, things don't always go according to plan in the time frame that we true. expect. Yeah, true. Uh, this has been a long time coming. You, yeah. you started off doing Zim Dancehall. Yeah. Why were you inclined to Zim Dancehall? Because that was, I can say, the most popular genre that was trending in, you know, in the hood. Mm -hmm. You know, hip hop wasn't that much, you know maybe here in in h but there zim dancer was the biggest genre they actually held gigs bashes you know and people performed in clubs mm -hmm. so i thought if i you know tried it out it might work out for me mm -hmm. yeah so that's how i started you know doing zim dance so i got a couple of videos out i won't tell people where they are <laughs> Why not? Your fans want to know i won't tell people where they are why are you are you embarrassed of them <laughs> No, not not really, not really, man. But mm. you know, <laughs> no. Well, share the it's jokes. No, so that, no. So that sh share the jokes so that we can laugh and understand why you guys are laughing. Why? Why is it a no, no? Uh, no, it, they're, they're just funny, you know. Because by that time, would really... you would you would you say they are gouache? Is that is that it? Could Anna stay Anna swag? No. They have swag, but it wasn't original. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody, you know, would pick concept, you know, we would uh, copy from other people, even the vocals, even, you know, even other remix, other people's songs. Mm -hmm. So it's oh. kind of funny to us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would like to be convinced that you did dance all because with the kind of music that you do right now, it's, yeah. it, I, just, I, I can't see it. I can't picture it. For real? But, I can't because you sound, you're a totally different vibe. My day is on, a, on some almost EDM tip. Yeah, so, but... So let's, let's just, can you just sing a chorus of one of your dancehall songs? Manager, please stop laughing. Uh, sing a, sing a chorus from one of your songs. <laughs> just, just, just do it so that we hear. I I I vibe like so. Okay, so there's this song that I did with my, with my day one, my best friend. He's the one who influenced me to, you know, punk lessons, uh, go to the studio and record, you know, crappy songs. Mm -hmm. So we did this song um, together with this guy called MC. It was called Wild and Free. So I'm just going to do like the chorus. Yeah, just the yeah. chorus. And it's PGI, you guys. Yeah, no, okay, no, no, ahead. it's okay. Go ahead. So the chorus goes like, 
we wild and free. Them shoulda know we not the ghetto. We them make them strong. Nothing pan fi na afraid of. Lyrically fit, pam and go mad over fake heads and my glasses. I can't do. <laughs> Bad thing. Bad thing. Yeah, so uh, 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 that is how it was like. Th- there was nothing wrong with that. Just Jinaki Zagaji. For real? Young, wild, and free. Jinaka <laughs> vibes, Jinaka bounce. Yeah, so, you know, mm-hmm. back in the day, you're taking me back. And in you the even day. shot videos. How many videos did you make for these songs? Um, I did, I think there was one for a rhythm, mm-hmm. and there was one that was a single track. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that was it. That was the, those are the videos that I did for Zim Dance. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. You consider yourself? Do you consider yourself a role model, or do you accept being called a role model for me? Some young people out there, or some people that look up to you. Um, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like I'm also, you know, looking up to some other people. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't consider myself a role model. Would you accept being called a role model? You may not consider yourself, but would yeah. you accept? Would you? Would you? I'm okay with it. You'd be okay with it. Yeah. All right. Uh, the reason why I ask is that obviously, you know, in Zimbabwe, education is 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 really a priority for many for 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 many parents, and so there's some young people that will be looking up to you, but then they hear that you dropped out of school. So, I, like. The balance there as a role model, how would you then speak to someone who looks up to you and would come to you, a young person, and say, Aishan, I, I'm inspired by you, I love music, but yeah. I'm thinking of dropping out. What would you say? Um, you really need to be strong in your heart to believe that you really want to do it. You know, it's not just because I did it like that and you can also do it like that. Mm-hmm. You know. It's, what works for Aisha and might not work for B. Yeah, it goes back to my background spiritually mm-hmm. with how I'm taught to believe in things and put my faith in things. Mm-hmm. So that's that's how we're different. Spiritually, so, are, you incl- are you inclined to Christianity, yeah. tradition? I what? believe in God, yeah. You believe in God? Yeah. So you pray a lot? I talk to God. Oh, you talk to God? Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to the music. Um, you When you started off, you said you were working with Jamal and No yeah. Limits. You yep. guys recorded Kure. Um, yeah. Had you been paying for records when you were there or were you working as a team? What was going on there? What was going on was, um, you know, because they we need to pay rent, you know, we need to pay, we need to buy equipment, we need to keep our equipment fit and, you know, working. Mm-hmm. They needed to be money coming in somehow. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I didn't have money to pay for the studio, so I remember I had my laptop. Mm-hmm. That was the only thing I had actually. Mm-hmm. That was my property, and um, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I gave him. Um, I gave him my laptop mm-hmm. in return for studio time, and also sleeping in the studio. How did you balance it out? How did you calculate? Because this laptop is worth maybe three months' rent. and Well, actually, it wasn't that type of a plan. Mm. It was just to show that, bro, if I had money to pay for studio time, I would pay. Mm -hmm. But I don't have. So let me use the studio and you can do whatever you want to do with it. With the laptop. He can sell it. He can. uh, so, uh, So that arrangement worked out for how long? Till now. It's still there. Still standing. I can do whatever I want. How, How much was this laptop worth? I, lesser than what we have made right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so why did you move away from uh, No Limits Records when, when Kure became a hit and go to Jacaranda and Illicit Records? Um, I had uh, I had met, uh, during uh, the No Limits period, I had met Marcus, DJ Marcus. Mm-hmm. That was my ex-manager. Mm-hmm. So we talked a lot. We developed a relationship. We did a project together. Mm-hmm. We did a song called My Lover. That's one of my favorite songs, actually, mm-hmm. ever. And um, so during that period, we developed a bond. And uh, I asked him to be my manager. Mm-hmm. And he agreed. So that's how we came about, you know, saying, you know, let's create our own stable, you know, let's call it illicit records. Mm-hmm. Let's, you know, do this and that. Let's connect with other artists. So I, it's not necessarily that I left No Limits. I will never leave No Limits, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're still a part of the family. Yeah, I am. All right. So you also did work with uh, Zim Celebs as well, because yeah. I remember Kure, yeah. when it first came out, it was on Zim Celebs. Yeah. What was the arrangement there? Do, do, were they distributing for you? Were they their they bigger <coughs> platform? Let me take my music there. What happened there? Yeah. they. Let's say they were, they 
for that particular song mm -hmm. they were distributing but then the terms weren't really clear that's why you know in the later days started developing some issues around it and you know why were the terms not clear if you give your records to somebody uh don't you guys iron out these issues and say i'm going to give you this you're going to get this no we didn't do it like that how did you guys do it we uh for uh, let me tell you what happens to upcoming artists normally we just want to be heard mm -hmm. normally mm -hmm. we just want our music to go out there we just want people to see us and that's it for us mm -hmm. you know that's the point where we're like yeah, that's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But then when, you know, money starts getting involved, you know, that's when you start realizing some issues that you didn't actually take note of. So you're not have forecast that this, maybe this could make me money. Yeah. And when he makes money, I'm going to get this, they're going to get this. No. So what happened? Did you get any money from your, uh, your single, your song being on the Zim Celebs uh, yeah. YouTube? Yeah, I did. You got every set yeah. that was due to you? Not every, but, uh, you know. We shared some. Well, I mean, every cent due to you. Yeah. You got what was meant to be for yep. you. All right. And then the song was deleted from YouTube, from their page. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you feel when that happened? Uh, we realized that was actually a mistake because um, they told us that their, their channel got reported um, and then they got hit by copyrights and the whole channel had to be taken down. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are a couple of artists who lost their videos too. Mm-hmm. But then they got to upload them on their own channels, mm -hmm. just like what I did to mine. That's when now you have your own YouTube channel. What is it, yeah. by the way, just in case anybody wants to go and check it out? I shan real bad. I shan real bad. Yeah. Okay. So you once had, uh, you, you once also had a situation whereby, uh, well, not once, but mm -hmm. when this song became a hit, Kore. Yeah. There was so much talk that came up between uh, Tigons, it's all this and so forth. Yeah. What happened with Kore? How did we get to Kuri? As in the song, how the did making? you end up having this? Yes, the making of the song. So yeah, I was during that time I was making a couple of ideas for myself, mm -hmm. and that beat, that particular beat, was one of them. Mm -hmm. So I I did I put some uh, vocals, some ideas that I feel like you know were vibes to it, mm -hmm. but they weren't really. And then I started working on it again. That's when. Sorry, pause. Yeah. How did it originally sound? Um, I wrote a love song and I recorded it. Unfortunately, I deleted it. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. How it sounds. So this the, the the hook was not the same. No. All right. It was yeah. different. Yeah, it was different. Mm -hmm. I actually like delete when I deleted the vocals. I started refixing the beat again. Okay. So it started sounding different. All right. Uh, we we've got two and a half minutes for you to just explain real quickly mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah. So and then Tinasha came. We went into the studio. Um, Tinasha being two guys. Yeah. Okay. Two guys came in and uh, we went into the studio. We started. He started writing. Um, in in a few minutes, you know, the song was done. He came with uh, the idea that let's inspire people. Mm -hmm. Let's sing a song that can touch people, that can bring people back home. And he came with the with the hook, with half of the hook. I came with half of the hook. He wrote his verse. I wrote my verse. I wrote the bridge. And we went into the studio. Jamal captured the vocals. He mixed and mastered it. In a few hours, he was done. And we were actually planning to do the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how we met um, Director Leo. So you both sat down and wrote the song together? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so then as for the money that comes from this record, uh, how was it distributed? Did you guys distribute it evenly or it, it all goes to... <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, not really, because there wasn't really any agreement, you know, any paper agreement for how we were going to share the fruits. But then now they are. Because, you know, there's a structure, there's management. So at the there time there was no structure because yeah. it was just, listen, oh, I'm here, let's do yeah. this. We sat down, yeah. we wrote a song, we didn't think about it. Yeah. The song blew up and then uh, you obviously started making your money from it because yeah. it was it was your song. And uh, so now there was also the issues of prize monies. Uh, people have been asking, did you guys distribute the prize money? Did you share the prize, mar prize money that you got for Kuri? Yep, we did. Not all of it, though. <laughs> but we did. <laughs> when you say not all of it, what do you mean? 
No, no, because it's my song. So, you okay. know. But the structure, according to the new structure that is there. Yeah. Everyone yeah, according is, to the new structure now, mm-hmm. everyone is being Entitled taken care of. Entitled to what yeah. they need to get. Even with my previous label. All right. Uh, we got 30 seconds. I just need to ask you. There, there was some talk that came up also on the internet, on social mm-hmm. media, that Kure became a big song because Tiguan's had been in an accident. And uh, there's also some talk that, no, Kure genuinely is a big song. Mm-hmm. What's, your, what's your response to that? I think it's a good song. It's a good song. Yeah. All right. We just got 14 minutes before the news. Actually, 10 minutes, uh, 10 seconds before the news comes through at 2 p.m. Don't go anywhere. Share, like our video, comment. We got uh, Charlotte. She's pinning the comments. The good ones are getting pinned. This is Center Stage. We got Aisha in the studio, but we're going to take a break for the news. Good afternoon, this is the news read by Fungai Chimbindi. Government says the maximum limit of people at any gathering is now 100 and restaurants can now stay open until 8 p.m. while adhering to COVID-19 health guidelines. Restaurants have been closing at 6.30 p.m. before the new changes. Addressing the post-cabinet briefing in Harare yesterday, the Minister of Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, Senator Monica Mchangwa, said there had been confusion amongst the public over the maximum number of people allowed to attend gatherings. Senator Mchanga said cabinet agreed to set the maximum at 100, regardless of the type of gathering, adding that people should continue to adhere to public health regulations. He said the new limits should help people avoid violations at weddings and church services in particular. Postal communication and financial services provider Zimpost has been challenged to spearhead the country's smart concept by leading in adopting modern technology. Speaking at the official opening of a Zimpo strategic workshop in the capital today, the Minister of Information, Communication, Technology, Postal and Courier Services, Honorable Dr. Jemfe Muswere, implored the organization to become Zimbabwe's premier research hub in the ICT and digital era. In international news, United Nations UN officials say the organization and Ethiopia have reached a deal to allow aid into the country's conflict-torn northern Tigray region. UN spokesperson Mr. Saviano Abreu says an assessment mission will begin today. This development comes as food and medicines are said to be running out for millions of people while thousands have been displaced. A UN source said it had established a logistics group with the government to ensure access, although there is no official confirmation yet from Ethiopia. Hundreds of people have been reportedly been killed in the month-long fighting between the Federal Army and the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF. The Ethiopian government said the regional capital, Makele, was seized over the weekend. However, TPLF soldiers said they were still fighting near the city. And that concludes the news at 2. Zimbabwe will rock you. This is new music. 
studio and we're playing you uh, songs from his new album and uh, oh my gosh they are just wow it's called Bundu Pop Bundu Pop right yep that's the name of the album it is out now on all streaming platforms as well as how else can they get it um, everywhere on all stores on all stores yeah all right, this one right here is featuring uh, Tammy, and it's called Mrs. Real Bad. Before this, we got a jam to one call featuring Gemma. You you featured the girly girls on here yeah. with the with the, the queen voices, the queen. Yeah. Why, why why did you work with these two girls? They're special. You know. You know when you say things like that, we want to know more. Why, <laughs> Ashan? Why special. are they special? You know, I believe these are the birds of our country. You know, mm-hmm. like these are the gurus when it comes to the queens of. You know, music. Gemma and uh, Gemma Tammy, and Tammy yeah. are the gurus and queens when it comes to music. This yeah. is according to you, your according, opinion. Yeah, according to how I feel about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, so, how long did this album take you to make? Um. Well, it, we didn't just start it as the album, as an album. Mm-hmm. You know, there were singles that I did back there. Like Ghetto is three years old. You know, and it was just sitting there. So we started picking up some songs mm-hmm. and others we recorded them. Like One Call Away, you know, those songs, they are new songs. Mm-hmm. But they are also songs that I did back then. This yeah. song, uh, Mrs. Real Bad, it sounds very familiar. It sounds like you sampled a, an old school song. Which song did you sample or were you inspired by? I didn't, I, I didn't sample because I didn't use anything from that particular song but it was whipped by taylor man mm-hmm. that is whipped it. yeah whipped. yes i was thinking of it yeah it does yeah. sound like that okay. i got the vibes yeah the song deserves a grammy <laughs> it does got a message here from connie in Chitown. town she says aishan sings like bruno mars is he an inspiration to you or do you even look to him no i, I don't not that i don't like him but i don't listen to bruno mars how can you say I don't like him, but I don't No, listen to him. no, no, I, I'm saying not that I don't like him. Okay, not yeah. that I don't like him, yeah, but, but I don't listen to him. Yeah, I listen oh, to him when he's, vibe. Yeah, when he's being played by others, I can vibe. All right, yeah. I, I guess she hears a bit of Bruno Mars whenever she listens to your songs. Uh, hey, Chambari, uh, a big, a much love to Aishan. Really love his uh, new album based on the songs that I've heard so far. Uh, okay, guys, we'll talk about this again, but we did say yesterday that uh, uh, the artists, according to research, artists are actually losing out on a lot of money because people choose free streaming platforms as opposed to supporting the artists by downloading and buying their music so please support them by buying their music yeah. on youtube they don't get as much money as they actually do on the on the online stores yeah. right yeah okay uh, before the news you were talking about how uh you and uh, tiguan had spoken about korea i just want us to, to just address this once and for and then mm-hmm. move on with yep. everything else you said that uh both of you sat down and you wrote the song together yeah. and uh, because at the time you you wrote it as vanongo bobo like yeah. as men we're brothers brothers yeah. Yeah. let's record this song you guys recorded the song and the song blew up so there was no structure in place of how you're going to distribute the revenue no. evenly and so forth <laughs> no now someone got in touch and they said what do you mean when you say kure is your song so you get a bigger share of whatever prize money you're getting yet you're saying makanyora half and half natigons um so what happens is when we're looking at production i don't think i can go deeper about it but just the surface mm-hmm. what happens in production is if i am the producer of the song it means I am the executive producer mm-hmm. of the song. Mm-hmm. So basically, how the lyrical structure is being done is not really necessarily considered, but how the whole project is being made. Mm-hmm. Because there's also the mixing part, there's also the mastering part of the beat and the vocals too. So Tigon's contributed on the vocals. There is a split for him on that side of what he did there's a split for the executive producer there's a split for the producer it makes sense yeah. i understand what you're saying but uh, I, I guess somebody also wanted clarity on that as well yeah uh, there's an issue of locally and even internationally this does happen the one hit wonder curse yeah someone comes up with a big hit it does very well we all go crazy mm-hmm. of course they do release other songs afterwards yeah. but they never as such big hits as as the first hit song yeah do you feel or did you ever feel that kind of pressure with Kure? because the song and the remix were fire yeah and then now you also did release uh miss you bad missing you miss, yes miss and miss bad miss you bad uh-huh <laughs> and it didn't do as well because when people thought when they heard he's coming up with a new song like right okay it wasn't as big as yeah Kure. yeah do you believe in this one hit wonder curse do you feel like you are above the curse do you believe there's no such thing as a curse 
Well, I'm glad you asked what I believe. I believe that I, my talent is God-given, so it doesn't wear out. I wear out, but my talent doesn't. I can die, but still my music can play. So, granted, granted, that is a fact. Yeah. Yes, that's so, a, but you're only as big as your <clears throat> as your last big is your next last big record, yeah. and Kure, like I'm saying, yeah, that was a fire song. Yeah, but there is the possibility people fear that uh, they 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 might be that one hit wonder curse. Mm-hmm. Do you feel pressure to live up to Kure, or you feel like listen, vibra Kure, This is me now. Well. It's funny that there are actually people who do not think Kure was that of a, of a jam. No, I said they, they, they think it's a hit song. Yeah. It's a big tune. Yeah, uh-huh. it is. When it comes to making hits, it's not something that you can pick. You know? But it, it depends with how you're building your relationship with your fan base. Mm-hmm. So if they want to give you that opportunity of, you know, say, okay, this guy has given us a hit. Should we allow him to show us what he has or do we just want to put him down on the ground and say, you know, this is it? Mm-hmm. Here's, a good, here's a good question. Yeah. How come you've never performed... Okay, no, let me not say how come. Yeah. Have you ever performed Kure live with Tigons? Yes, I have. Where? In Chinoy. We mm-hmm. performed it together. Mm-hmm. Um, agricultural show, we performed it together. So you guys have performed the song yeah. live together? Yeah. All right, thank you very much. We got that message and uh, someone was asking... Uh, well, well, <laughs> I think they just didn't know. <laughs> okay, um, so now there has been talk. Yeah. That Aisha Dano Vaira. Aisha Dano Vaira. Aisha Aisha. Well, it depends. Uh, okay, uh, from but, your definition, what is Kuvaira? From your definition, from your understanding, what is Kuvaira? Well, Kuvaira is just not complimenting another person. Mm-hmm. To me, it's not complimenting another person just mm-hmm. because of who I am. May- maybe seeing myself better than them. Mm-hmm. And Kuzida? Kuzida, you know, I like how you, you know. threw. I, I like how you threw the darling of Zimbabwe into the mix. You thing. know, yeah. I <laughs> see that, you know, but you know, he was a cool rest guy. Rest in peace to Jimmy. Yeah, rest in peace. He's missed. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you 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 don't over it. Uh, let me let me say it this way. Mm-hmm. There are people who I might just know from a distance, and I really don't give them much attention, mm-hmm. but I know them. Those people can change one of one of fire. But it's not that kind of fire, though. And it's it's not because I have to, you know, pay attention to everybody, mm-hmm. to what they are saying. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean I, I no longer know you, you know. So one one, I know that I shall know fire. But then I'm like, yo, we're not even talking most of the time. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not even sharing ideas most of the time. We're not even together most of the times. How come that go fire? To get Aisha on mm. a collaboration, what must one do? If they are not of this list that you have on your album? Um, I'm open to ideas. I'm open to songwriters. I'm open to beat makers, you know. So if people want to collaborate, mm-hmm. if your stuff is good, we can work on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, do you, are you on social media, you per se, or you have a team who manages your social media account? I am together with my team. All right. Yeah. And uh, there have been questions uh, from what I've been seeing in uh, somewhere, in some mm-hmm. circles. Uh, you don't engage your fans much on social media. Because I spend most of my time in the studio. So you ain't got time to be engaging with the people who consume your music? Nope. It's not that. Mm-hmm. I have time for them when I go out, but I don't have time for them when I'm working. Explain to me when you go out, you, when you're at home. That's when you when I when I go out, sometimes I visit my friends in Chi Town, Mabuku, Kadoma. I go out, we chill, we hang. I'm talking about social media, not in the physical. Hanging with them on social media? Mm-hmm. They're not hanging with them, like interacting with your friends on I do media. Is interact with them. We're always on the comment section. Mm-hmm. I am always on the comment section. If As I see I something, real bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I'm always there, and sometimes if my team hasn't done it first, mm-hmm. I can comment. I can. All right. Um, yeah. Four nine eight six five two and four nine eight six five four zero seven one two eight three one one seven two. Got a message that's saying, Aishan, would you ever uh, collaborate with a Zim Danso artist? Can we expect a Zim Danso collaboration? Who? Okay, Andrew. Who? Two zero two rule out eighteen nine. Yeah. Yeah, because I've already done with Natio. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. he Danso? Zim Danso? 
Well, he's he's in Zimbabwe and he does dancehall. <laughs> so you'd, you'd classify him as a Zim dancehall no, artist? No, he's a dancehall artist. That's why I said you would classify him as that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Aishan, my Usandi Shore is my favorite, very inspirational song. Shout out. Uh, for your age, your lyrics are actually on point. Thank you yeah. so much. How much, how, long, how much time does it take you to come up with a song? Minutes. Sometimes, Minutes. days, sometimes. Uh-huh. Someone had differs. asked earlier on. Sorry, uh, sorry it, for cutting. It just differs with you know what, how I'm feeling and the the vibes that's around me. So yeah. Someone asked peanut butter and dovi. Mm. <laughs> It's all the same, Peanut Butter and Dovi. You're saying you, the song, my day, mm. you're talking about a, a, your girl. Yeah. Yeah. So, Peanut Butter and Dovi. Basically, I'm just. What do you call what, What's the word say? Reminis. Reminiscing? What, yeah, reminiscing mm. Mm. about, you know, what we should have done. Mm hmm. But basically, it's not going to happen. So it's all the same. All right. Yeah. Four nine eight six five two and four nine eight six five four. Get in touch right now. This is Lunchtime Radio Center Stage. Call us up and speak to Aishan. But please remember, this is a family listening station. So please, we need to keep it as respectful as possible. People of all ages are tuned in right now. Power FM, hello. Hello. Nelly. Hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Ray. I'm calling from Boris. Reggie, go ahead and pass your comment to Aishan. Aishan, my guy, what's up? What's up, my G? Uh, keep it burning, man. I'm loving the music. I'm tuned in right now. Yeah, thanks, man. Where are you calling from? From Buri, my homie. Yo! <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy, man. Uh, great, man. Thank you, bro. Hey, hey. Thank you so much for calling. Power FM, hello? All right, nobody there. 498652 and 498654. Aishan is in the studio. Anzi, I would like to see an Aishan and Winky D collaboration. Why is it that whenever we speak about a, a, a Zim Dancer collaboration, people always assume it has to be Winky D, Kiliti, uh, Soja Love. I can't wait for that collab. You can't wait. Yeah. Power FM, hello? Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Leroy from Kambazuma. Leroy, please can you just turn down the volume of your radio and go ahead with your comment or your question. Okay. Hi, Aisha. Hi, bro. Hi. I don't want to miss again. Troy Damdara. Uh, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it, man. Ah, uh, better, better. But we're going to collab on a winky deal. I don't want to ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. I can't even wait to do one with him, man. <laughs> so here's the thing, Leroy. Ongo, 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 ronga kanti weka. Ongo bata elder banda ka ongo ronga on behalf of Aisha. No, did you have that? Chimotipo yo collaboration in Vanna Aisha. Aisha, Power FM, hello? Hello, man. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Eh, uh, Pop Preacher. Go ahead and speak to Aisha. Yo, bro, how's it? Yo, mko, how's it say? Uh, thank you so much, my brother. I love your music, bro. We always talk on social media. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you, my bro. Thanks, bro. I like that he came to your defense. At least that one has been answered. Pau ya eriu fena tauro daiwa isuji to no communicate na e pa social media. Pau FM, hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? All right, Shemaine, we'll go ahead and speak to Aishan. Hi, Aishan. Hi, Shemaine, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you for calling. Yeah, uh, as long as we have good stuff, like we said earlier, as long as the stuff is good, we can work on it, no problem. All right, so, but obviously, let, let's, not, let's not lie to each other, let's not try and be politically correct. Yeah. You do have a set standard that you say, but listen, yeah. I don't want to be associated with yeah, So when we say it sounds good, according to you and according to your standard and your quality, mm. what is it that you're looking for? I'm looking for something that is adding value to my brand, mm -hmm. you know? It doesn't have to just stay equal. It has to top up when we do something. Mm -hmm. So that's what. So far, our collaboration actually should also benefit you yeah. as opposed to benefiting just Munua. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I always say this to new artists when they always ask me, Chavari, can you link me up with someone?" And I say, if your song is a hit song, mm -hmm. your song must be so good that the guy featuring on your on your song mm -hmm. is going to perform it even at their own concert. Yeah. I should feel challenged even to record. Yes. You know? Okay. I yeah. think that's something that uh, you should also consider if you want to collaborate with Aishan or any artist. Mm. Parafim, hello? 
Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I am... Sorry, can you please tell us again? Delight. Delight, Taurana Aishan, what's your comment? Mm, you know, Sorry, can you repeat that, Delight? Oh, she's gone. Okay, I'm sorry about that, Delight. If you can, please call us back and then speak to Aishan. We just have a few more minutes, five more minutes, and then we close off the show and uh, move on. And Aishan's got to go. Power FM, hello? Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Waterfalls. Gift from Waterfalls. Leon. Leon. All right. Go ahead and speak to Aishan. Yo, Aishan. Oh, my G. Hi. Aishan. How are you, man? I'm good, and you? I'm good, bro. What's popping? Ah, uh, good. Aishan, given a chance, internationally, who do you want to collaborate with? On Platinums, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said who? Diamond Platinums. Diamond Platinums. Why Diamond Platinums? He's my... Diamond Platinum is about 1 million overnight. In 24 hours, you don't go to Juma 1 million. No, Diamond has inspired me a lot, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he's... I can't even find the words. Mm-hmm. If I get to do a song with Diamond... You'd have made it. Yeah, I would basically say that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so the powers that be, please make sure that Aishan can uh, do this uh, uh, collaboration. Douglas Ngonizashe says, Inkulumani says, Aishan's music is interesting. Uh, I'm so in love with Aishan's music. Uh, you're bringing international stuff to Zimbabwe. It's cl- Clinty. Let me ask you this question that a lot of people fail to answer. Yeah. But I'd like to hear your opinion. According to Aishan, yeah. can I teach it international? What are we talking about? What do you mean if an artist goes international? When we're talking about an international sound, when we say I'm making music that's international, I'm I'm, I'm making international moves, can you tell us what that means according to you? Uh, It means really it's not too much cultural centered, you know? It's involving vibes, different vibes from all corners of the world. And, you know, a lot of people, not just my people, can relate to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. 4986521544, Power FM, hello? 4986521544, Power FM, hello? Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Munyaradzi and I'm calling from Video Promotion. Munyaradzi, go ahead and speak to Aishan. Is that a greeting? Is that a calling? What is that? <laughs> That's my brother. That's a gay. If someone doing that, they know me. They know, they know me, me like that, yeah. All right, go ahead with your comment. <laughs> <laughs> this is just crazy. It's, it, 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 it's like no uh, kakuwa Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you, if you see us in the club, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Far from hello. Uh, can you call, turn on the volume of your radio when you call into the studio so that we can hear you properly? Power FM, hello? All right, let's go on to Facebook. I wanted to check out some messages uh, that are coming in from Facebook. Uh, while we do that, Power FM, hello? Hello, hi, Chavari. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Natasha and I'm calling from Ami. All right, Natasha, go ahead and speak to Aishan. Hi, Aishan. Hey, how you doing? She hangs up because she was so overwhelmed. She just loves you so much. I love you too, man. I really do. How does it make you feel to know that you have that effect on the girl? Amazing. Hey. Makes me feel amazing. Are you in a relationship? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How long have you been in the relationship for? Um, This is actually, you know, let's just say a year mm-hmm. and some months. All right. So yeah. as a famous person, it's always very difficult to find who's genuine and who's not genuine. So what do you look for in a girl before you decide that she's the one? Um, I look for someone who compliments me, you know, someone who feels in those gifts that I'm not able to feel, mm-hmm. you know, you need someone who makes you feel guilty. You know, someone, guilty? Yeah. Guilty over what? No, you need someone who makes you realize you're wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't need someone who's just like when you die, when you do something wrong, they're just like, cool, because, you know they're in love with you or something mm-hmm. you need someone who tells you straight up yo you messed up have you ever Energy. dated have you ever dated a groupie a groupie like a super fan who's just with you because she wants to be seen with Aisha 
Mm, be honest. Mm, not tell really. The, tell the truth not and really. share the difference. Not really. <laughs> not really. Not, not really. No, what does not I can't really say mean? not yet. Listen, I don't, not really. I, I don't understand what not really means. What does not really mean? I know be, no and I know yes. No, because I rock around with people who like my music mm-hmm. and who are my friends too. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't really know what, what are their intentions inside all right yeah craziest moment that you've ever experienced since you became famous was the reception by nast university what happened there i thought i was gonna be stoned by cans with the devils you know but then they were like the shawners they were like my people when i went there why would you assume that people from below i heard stone you? before i heard before i went there i heard um people in below don't like music from harare they don't you know they only listen to house music mm-hmm. so uh, my i was really nervous so if you knew time, this yeah. then why did you take the gig because i was getting paid so if you had gotten stoned yeah which we thank god didn't happen yeah You'd have been okay so long as you Maria go Magrina go pare Yeah. As long as my guys are eating, it's okay. <laughs> okay, power for my love. Hello. Can you please turn down the volume of your radio? What's your name and where are you calling from? All right, she's gone. Power for my love. 498652 and 498654. Uh, we got Aishan in the studio. Aishan, I need to ask you, what is your favorite meal? This one has also come through. It's very trivial, but uh, we need to know. What's My favorite? favorite meal, I don't want to lie. My mm-hmm. favorite meal is sada and they, they mix with fried chicken. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite meal. All right. Yeah. You've got a gun to your head and you are yeah. told, we're going to pull the trigger and you're going to be gone unless you sing a Sungura song without making a mistake. Which song is it going to be? Hey, I, I would die. You would die? I did go fashion. Really? I did go fashion. No Sungura songs that you know. I did go fashion. Wow, okay. 4986521554. Power <laughs> FM, hello? <laughs> All right, Power FM, hello? Hello? Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm Blessing Marambelela. I'm, from, I'm calling from Video Promotions. All right, Blessing, go ahead and speak to Aishan. I just want to say, I'm a one and I cheer my song in Go. Thank you, Mkoma. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think the team is going to get Rita Daisy. Power FM, hello? Okay, he just wanted to sing to you. I'm going to take two more calls and then we're going to close off the interview. Power FM, hello? Hello, hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, Ivan, I'm from Bombay. Ivan, go go ahead and speak to Aishan. Uh, Aishan, Abi. Hey, bro. What's your name? Ah, Bomb, that is to say. Ah, bro, I don't know if I'm going to music here, bro. Thanks, I'm coming. All right, he's gone. All right, I need the last caller. Last caller, this one's on you. You got to tell us something. What would you like to see from Aishan? What do you love about Aishan? We got to leave, give him something. Because I'm <laughs> 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 Hello. All right, uh, that one is gone. Power FM, hello. Hi, Tampa. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Pamela. I'm calling from Dufai. All right, Pam- Pamela, go ahead and speak to Aishan. Hi, Aishan. Hi, Pamela. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. I just love your music. And the most thing that I like about you, I like you so cool. you cool for your age. Thank you so much. I really okay. appreciate it. Age, what age you? What's your age? Because apparently you you too cool for your. I'm age. above twenty. Yeah, ah, come on, just tell me. <laughs> women are the ones that refuse to tell their age. Uh, okay, I'm twenty three. You're twenty three. Yeah. All right. So she says you're cool for your age. All right. Before you go, the blessing says I think a collaboration with Herman or Poptain would really do good for me. Uh, Aisha Naganyanya, are you okay? Uh, let's see, let's see. Aisha, I love your music. Thank you so much. Uh, and you want his phone number? All right, cool. All right, so your last words before you go. Um, oh, before you go, wait. Hanzi Narumbi Zai Betha. Do that collaboration with Vanchoga. And Silas Marambinda also said, I would love to see an Aishan collaboration with Vanchoga. Yeah, I'll take that to my management. You'll take that to your management? Yeah. Mind. All right, well, your last words before you go. My last word is, okay, this is the only shout-out I'm going to do. 
Um, this one goes to Jenkins Closet. Um, I'm working with them, young in, inter, in, entrepreneurs. You know, they're really talented. They're pushing the grind. Yeah, advertising guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm we sorry. Shall build you Just give me one for this. this. And you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, Aishan Music underscore. Mm -hmm. All the same. All right. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was World AIDS Day. What did you do to commemorate the day? Mm, I didn't even know. You? I was in the studio. <laughs> oh, bro. You didn't know. <laughs> That an international observance yeah. was being held on the 1st of December nope. as it has been nope. since the 80s. I, I, did, I didn't know. Wow. I don't want to lie to you because if I said I knew, I would be lying. All right. Uh, manager, please can you sit down with your artist and educate him about these things because it's very necessary as an artist who <laughs> sings to the youth and to Zimbabwean people to know that there's an international observance such as World AIDS Day. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, people you, have been asking, who, who's this guy? Because he's been coming out on the camera. Who is he that's sitting next to you? Uh, this is my, my young brother, Lighty ZW. He's the director for Peanut Butter My Day. All right. So if you yeah. love Peanut Butter and My Day, he's the one who re recorded it. Thank you so much to Aishan. Thank you so much to everybody that has been tuned in since uh, 12 o'clock. Well, since 1.30 for Center Stage. You can go onto YouTube later on and check out this video. Share the link. Let everybody know about it. Thank you, Aishan. Thank you, Shambhai.